We were talking about the demonstrations, you know, the NASA anti-IBC demonstrations. There are those who are asking, how effective is these anti-IBC demonstrations? Do you think IEBC might go ahead and change, make the changes that NASA is demanding for because of these demonstrations? No, actually, any person who's been living in this country can attest to the fact that uh, the only language that is heard loud and clear is the language of demonstrations mm -hmm. from time immemorial all through. Uh, when, uh, you know, somebody wanted to grab land, in the Hurupak land, women came out in the street and demonstrated, mm -hmm. and they really fought, led by the late Professor Wangari Madai. Mm. Uh, when uh, that element uh, wanted to delete uh, that clause that was barring multi-partism in 1992, uh, people came out of the street, uh, the likes of Timothy Njoya. Mm -hmm. They allowed their bodies to be clobbered uh, like dogs. And uh, at the end of it all, uh, Moi accepted and uh, bowed to pressure. Mm -hmm. So clearly, this is what we've been seeing all through. Recently, we went to the street again, mm -hmm. demanding that the, you know, last, uh, the IBC, the former commissioner, be changed. And, uh, uh, know, and be of course, changed. the changes And that one happened. Mm -hmm. So we are not expecting anything new other than the change again in IBC. We are not, I mean, it's, it's obvious, it's going to happen. If it's not going to happen, then as we've always said, there will be no elections. Honorable Kostani, do you agree with Honorable Sora <coughs> that these demonstrations are going to be fruit, 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 fruitful and that NASA is going to get what they're demanding for, changes in the IBC? Uh, first of all, we need to get the history mm -hmm. of what are, what, is, what, 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 is, what are you trying to gain in these demonstrations. And uh, in previous demonstrations, uh, they have always been led by NASA or rather ODM and their leader, Raila Odinga. And to me, I don't think uh, we're going to give in this time. We've given in, and the results have always been the same. No, it's not um, true. But we're talking about IEBC. IEBC. The yes, yes, and that's what, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Um, the changes they're demanding uh, of IEBC are, are unrealistic, yes. um, based on rumors, based on sus uh, just suspicions, based on uh, things that have no foundation. Uh, even even in, in law. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, IBC would advise them to stay put. Let the I mean, because really, mm -hmm. IBC has been on Raila's, whenever Raila loses an election, the IBC must go. We have been doing this, th three previous uh, IBC commissions mm -hmm. have been uh, let go because of Raila's complaints. Mm -hmm. We're not going to let go this one. But, but this time now, on, uh, this time around, on Rabal Kostani, even the Supreme Court said that this IEBC, the way it is, has you know, involved itself in some sort of irregularities during the August 8th election. Yes, the same Supreme Court uh, authorized the same IEBC mm -hmm. to, conduct to conduct the conduct election elections. within 60 days. Mm -hmm. And they say, and I don't know why you don't uh, want to mention this, mm -hmm. they say we find the second respondent and the third respondent, nobody capable of mm -hmm. any offense. That is what I heard uh, from the Supreme Court ruling. Mm -hmm. So I, I, the Supreme Court could not pinpoint anybody. Mm -hmm. And that is why I think they avoided uh, mention. So I think um, these demands actually are from NASA. Mm -hmm. They know they cannot be win on an election whereby the votes are, the person with the majority votes mm -hmm. uh, uh, wins. They know they cannot beat Jubilee. And they're really just trying to play monkey games in order to avoid going for the election. You've had him say, mention exactly what his boss is saying, that there will be no election. Who are they to say there no, will be no election? Mm -hmm. Even the president himself, who is the commander-in-chief of the defense forces of this country, cannot stop an election. Mm -hmm. Constitutionally, we must have elections on 26. And I want to tell him, for the benefit of all, all NASA supporters, we shall have elections on 26, whether they like it or not, for lack of a better Osoro, word. do you agree with him that these demands are being made by NASA and it's not what the Supreme Court had directed IABC to do? Because they had asked see, IABC to see, conduct an election that is within uh, the law. They didn't mention or they didn't find any official culpable. No, no, no. You see, the situation you're actually seeing in this country is a situation where both political affiliations have reason not to believe in IABC, but using different means of approach. And I can tell you without mincing any word that had this issue never came from, it did not come from uh, Raila Odinga, mm -hmm. they could probably be the ones pushing for Chiloba to be out. Mm -hmm. In any case, if they believe that they won and the election was nullified because of IBC, then that means that some officials in IBC messed their victory, if indeed they won. Of course, mm -hmm. they never did. Uh, they stalled. So, what we are trying to say is this. Uh -huh. <laughs> what we are saying is, yeah. these demands you are saying, on our side, we are going to the street demanding that IBC should go. On their side, they are creating uh, some kind of, uh, they're coming up with some very fine, funny laws, uh -huh. uh, you know, passing them in, param in parliament hurriedly, 
uh, with a lot of haste, uh -huh. uh, having a very funny committee, you know, and, uh, formed under yeah, and uh, standing order number one twenty. And, and speaking about the the proposed or the proposed changes on the yes. election law, and. Uh, the, one of the lead counsels, of course, CIA, uh, Senator James Orengo, is part of the NASA, and is saying that this law is going to make the commission that is IBC a lambda. What does he exactly? What, what does it means? Exactly? What it means is that it is more. It, it, it's like it, it going to work under the masses of an individual. Mm -hmm. It's going to work under the masses of a certain coalition, and I think that is what Jubilee is doing. Mm -hmm. They are trying to get us back to the old, bad old days. Mm -hmm. What you are seeing Jubilee pushing is what we had. The laws you are seeing them pushing in Parliament are the laws that we held, we held in this country in 1927 backwards, mm -hmm. where the president had, uh, you know, or rather uh, political players had a hand in IBC. It wasn't, the, then, then it was actually L, uh, EL, uh, ECK. Mm -hmm. What you are seeing is a situation where Jubilee is not acknowledging to the fact that He's not accepting the fact that mm -hmm. we were not granted, or rather, the courts never came out with the election mal uh, deficiency laws. When, I mean, when you're talking about presiding officers not signing mm -hmm. and you create punitive measures, that is not something very new. It's already in our laws. Mm -hmm. What are you adjusting? Mm -hmm. So what you're seeing is every political coalition, both Jubilee and NASA, have no... Into Actually, they are fearing IBC. Every mm -hmm. person has something to do with IBC yeah. negatively. So they are looking for ways, loopholes. Mm -hmm. Now that they realize NASA became the first ones to say Chiloba must go, mm -hmm. they had to oppose that. These people can actually oppose anything. And I, I'm on record saying here that mm -hmm. If you want people not to take alcohol in Rift Valley or Nyanza, I mean, or, or, or Central, just get out there and say Raila Odinga is the implement of alcohol. They'll stop taking alcohol. Honorable, because they believe that anything that comes from him is wrong. Honorable so Kostani, do you agree with Osoro that Jubilee is legislating for its own benefit at the expense of this commission? I, I think um, people need to understand where we're coming from. Mm -hmm. Our drive and our foundation in order for us to drive for the changes in these electoral uh, laws mm -hmm. are based on the ruling of the Supreme Court. Yes. And based on things that we've observed uh, upon the election of uh, the nullified presidential election of August uh, 8th, mm -hmm. one of the key things that we are talking about is about section 39.1 of the, of, of the, of the election of, of the, of the, um, elections uh, act, mm -hmm. which gives uh, room for only Chibukati, Yes. has the returning officer of uh, the presidential elections. Mm -hmm. So we are saying in the event that Chibukati falls ill, mm -hmm. in the event that Chibukati, for one reason or another, disappears... That the deputy can yeah. take over, right? The deputy can take over. But how is, is that a law for, how, how uh, is that a law, how is that a law for Jubilee? Uh -huh. How does that make IBC a uh -huh. lame duck? Uh, the, the second one mm -hmm. is, is even a law that doesn't even affect Jubilee or NASA on, a, on, a, on a independent uh, presidential uh, candidates or, or uh, parliamentary or anybody running for any seat on an independent. Mm -hmm. it's, the law comes clear on who nominates an independent candidate. It has to be nominated by members who are also independent uh, Independent members of society, not members of any political party. Mm -hmm. Really? How does that come? Claire, in those are some of the clauses within that amendment. The other, and, yeah. and, and the LSK had made some memoranda uh, earlier when they appeared before that joint select parliamentary committee on electoral uh, law changes. We're going to get those uh, details shortly on our screens. And there you go. The proposed, they're saying the proposed uh, amendments are uh, patently unconstitutional. They also went ahead and said they go against the text, the spirit, and the substance of the Constitution. This is a memorandum from the Law Society of Kenya. Clearly, they're against uh, this amendment. They, they went ahead and said the composition of a commission, identification, selection, and uh, appointments of members is provided for in the Constitution. So it is therefore cannot be subject of preference by Parliament. This is a very... Uh, tough talking points from LSK and they're also saying taking away the qualification of the chairman is mischievous. And they're saying no vice chair can legally purport to take up any constitutional duties and powers of the office of the chairman. So basically they're saying the vice chair at no point can replace uh, the office of the chairman of the electoral body that is IBC. And also uh, they went ahead and said the proposed amendment assumes the manual results cannot be manipulated. And I think this is where I want to bring you in, Honorable uh, uh, Kositani. 
what informs this? Why do uh, does this bill or this proposed changes in electoral law believe that uh, the manual kind of uh, result transmission cannot be interfered with? That is as per LSK. Mm -hmm. That is an LSK story, not Jubilee. Yes. The proposed amendment assumes that manual results cannot be manip mm -hmm. manipulated. But what we are saying is this. We had an issue whereby NASA, through Maina Kiai, went to court. Mm -hmm. And the court gave a ruling that the tallying at the polling center is final. Yes. We had a problem with it, and then eventually we said, listen, we're winning this election. We, we, have no under, we don't have any card under the table. Mm -hmm. Let us accept that the final results will be, and they'll be transmitted electronically. Mm -hmm. What we are saying as Jubilee, because we had uh, electoral officials who maybe were NASA, I, I want to believe, and I believe that they are NASA supporters, mm -hmm. because the issues where we had problems with the, electro, with the Form 34As and 34Bs was in uh, Kilifi, was in uh, Mombasa, parts of Mombasa County, where we don't have a strong following as Jubilee. Mm -hmm. Those are the cards that cause the annulment of this uh, presidential, uh, those papers that cause, cause the annulment of this presidential mm -hmm. election. So we are saying, let us have the manual system backed up by the electronic system. But After in case, all, in case of a discrepancy, which one will take? In case name? of a discrepancy, let's yeah. go to the manual. <laughs> so why manual? That is the question many because people are asking. If, because if, manual well, transmission also can be Manual, you can, right? listen, if, uh -huh. if I write here, 8 million votes yes. and I cancel and write 9 million. You will, you'll be able to tell manually that there was a, there was a, there was a problem if you have somebody uses white out or anything. Mm -hmm. But electronically, if somebody just changes figures, how, mm -hmm. will, you, how will you know? No, no, no. The, these guys are calling themselves digital, mm -hmm. but they are going back to manual completely. I mean, that is what we say. But here. Our, our, our voting is 99% manual. Let's Hold give him chance and then you react what, to it. What uh -huh. you are seeing, and I say this, what you are seeing is a clear replica of the laws that we had be before 1997, all through backwards, mm -hmm. that any paper can actually be used to declare results. We are completely reducing the threshold of conducting presidential elections. We are making it sound as though it's a village uh, kind of election. Mm -hmm. And in any case, we're bringing more doubt to this thing. And I need to bring uh, Mwishimu up to speed that whatever you are seeing and whatever you're trying to change, might actually appear so friendly as at now mm -hmm. it's because it's completely cosmetic. You're trying to sugarcoat, sugarcoat things that you already know that can't really work. Mm -hmm. And what you're forgetting is this. These are the, this is exactly what happened in 1965 when the laws were uh, placed uh, by the then president, His Excellency Jomo Kenyatta the late, mm -hmm. you know, in, 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 thinking that he's punishing Jaramogi Oginko Dinga. But at the end of it all, they really punished Kenyans after Moi took power. Mm -hmm. The imperial presidency came through then. And that is what we're talking about. We're making these laws in haste, sneaking them to parliament, having the first reading very fast, mm -hmm. placing a, a caretaker committee uh, with, uh, without complete uh, you know, uh, representation, uh, you know, disguising that you're guarding yourselves under standing order number 120, mm -hmm. forgetting that you need to incorporate all the stakeholders, all the parties in parliament, yeah. take uh, stage managing. You know, the, the people, uh, the public who are supposed to be interviewed, you mm -hmm. stage manage them, you coach them, you tell them what to do. <laughs> I mean, those kind of things. That, that's I'm what trying to figure out this, honorable, to push honorable the Osoro, is there any element within that, within that bill that NASA or the opposition agrees with? Everything in that bill is For wrong. For instance, when you, talk about, the law. when you talk about the chairman's role, everybody knows the role of a chairman. But in this bill, <laughs> we're being told that if anything happens to him, then the deputy <laughs> can, can come forth. Because this is a gray area that no one has catered for. Don't you think that is How do you prudent? predict? Okay. You only speak something. You know, we make laws if there is a lacuna. We only make laws if clearly there is predictability mm -hmm. that probably this can happen. Since time immemorial, we have no history of a commission chairman mm -hmm. failing to declare results, not even the last general elections. Mm -hmm. What these people are trying to do is they actually want to cut the legs of the chairman, the mm -hmm. current chairman, because he cannot actually sing to their tune. Mm -hmm. They want to make it sound as though they can cut some links, you know, that they can make IBC commissioners irrelevant and especially the chairman. And that is completely an illegality. Honorable the only way, you, the only you, way they can Jubilee, change those laws is through a referendum. Is Jubilee trying to make IBC irrelevant and claiming exactly. the powers of the chairman? I don't know how we'll uh, make IBC relevant. We're just making IBC more efficient. Mm -hmm. We're making IBC more independent. We are giving powers to any commissioner. And what we is even, your motivation? We've even said, mm -hmm. we've even said anybody who yeah. is a commissioner mm -hmm. qualifies yeah. to be a returning officer. And any professional, not only a lawyer, mm -hmm. any professional, somebody who, has, who, who is a professional in any field, mm -hmm. qualifies to be the chairman of IBC. So that we are just not locked to one uh, section. And we are not targeting anybody. Mm -hmm. You have not had a jubilee saying any of the commissioners must go. Yeah. Because even if we had lost this election, 
which we, of course, we, we, we didn't lose, we won. Mm -hmm. We'd have said, okay, fine, and, and that is it. President uh -huh. Uhuru has lost an election before. Mm -hmm. He lost an election to President Mwai Kibaki. But, 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 but I was there, I was, I was campaigning for President Uhuru. Uh -huh. We went and held a press conference at Serena, and we considered with it, mm -hmm. and Kenya moved let's, on. Let's talk about the August 8th election, which yes. was in contention, and of course the Supreme Court invalidated the election of the president. Yes, yes. Of course, this is a, press, a process that is still on. We're waiting for that presidential rerun on October 26th. So what NASA and some other liberal-minded individuals are saying is that why change the rule of the game now? I'll tell you why. Justice Maraga, as he read his uh, ruling, mm -hmm. said that if the elections are conducted again and we find the same irregularities, we will annul the election again. So Why what you are saying, so, and listen, so, so, so and listen. So you agree with him that there was irregularities? Yes, there were, there were irregularities. Uh -huh. That's why they, they, and the irregularities, and you see... So is there a problem where he cancels another election because no, of irregularities? listen to me first. Mm -hmm. The irregularities that resulted, and that is why we're also proposing that before an election, a presidential election is annulled, let us first confirm physically what the results are, by a recount or by, by whatever method. If the, uh, the anomaly mm -hmm. does not affect the final uh, tally of the results, then you announce the, the, you cannot annul an election based on technicalities because our election is not about technicalities. Mm -hmm. It's about manual voting. Yes. Yusuf, you go to the polling center, mm -hmm. you get identified, you're given the, the piece of paper, uh, the, the ballot paper, you go and mark it, you stuff it into the, you put it into the box. The box are sealed. They are later on open and you mm -hmm. count physically. One, two, three. So where there's this technicality of uh, annulling the election because of okay. somebody who didn't... Let me, let me put it and that is why we have said, to and that is why we uh -huh. have proposed mm -hmm. that whoever messes up with Form 34A, 34C, yes. uh -huh. goes to jail for five years. They don't want that because they have... But, they have do, you agree, do you agree with me that election in this country is a motive? Yes, election is a motive. It is, right? So... One will ask the timing of this bill. You know, we're still in an election process. We're heading for that presidential rerun. Why bring the changes now, bearing in mind that election is a motivation in this country? Yusuf, have you seen what it is costing this country because for we're, a we're repeat election? Because we're even now. These are, those yeah, are like pictures. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, this, these are pictures from, they will demonstrate. Anytime Raila calls them to demonstrate, they will demonstrate. And you might see casualties. It might it, go out be of hand. I pray that there are no casualties. Mm. And I also pray that uh, there is no violence. I, want, I pity the business uh, community. But uh, these demonstrations are not on a genuine basis. These are demonstrations are just meant to try and portray that jubilee in, in, to portray the jubilee in bad mm -hmm. You see, NASA don't want these changes to the Constitution. Because I think they have, a, they have a planned to keep uh, taking us around in circles. And we're not going to accept it anymore. Mm -hmm. We had the majority ruling. Uh -huh. in, uh, we accepted the majority ruling of the Supreme Court. They have to accept the majority decision of parliament. But these are the same set of rules that Jubilee agreed with before the August yeah. election? Yes, until, until we have a court mm -hmm. ruling that we're abiding by. Mm -hmm. And we are going to abide by the court ruling fully. Honorable, this, uh, this repeat election is costing uh -huh. the country 13.8 billion. Mm -hmm. That is not small change. That is no small change. You have even seen today that uh, yesterday the, uh, the budget uh, committee was sitting in parliament. No. And the government is proposing to take away from the budget of parliament five point something billion mm -hmm. to finance this election. It is not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to the same mistake. We are doing this for the good of this nation. Of course we want to have an election yeah. tomorrow uh -huh. that will, by the time you annul an election, you have 100 and... 100% sure mm -hmm. there was a problem mm -hmm. with the actual results. Of course, and the problem, by fine large, NASA is blaming it on IEBC, and that's why they're saying IEBC should be reconstituted. They planned it so, with IEBC. So, uh, will you react to that? They planned it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let me first tell him that in as much as you intend to make these laws, or you're pushing these laws, of, of course, stage managing everything, every step, uh, you know, f right from the first reading all through to a sentiment, because it's even on record that the president has been saying that he'll ascend to the laws very fast, as, mm -hmm. as fast as, as, as much oh, as like yesterday. Uh, but then I also need to tell you that they will not see the light of the day. Where somebody will go to court, they'll, they'll be annulled. You'll call those courts kangaroo. You'll uh, abuse the judges again. And you see, you're even forgetting, and even if they are uncertain, one thing is very clear. The laws, the, when the learned judges uh, you know, nullified the election, they said that conduct a new, uh, the general, uh, the next election, presidential election, mm -hmm. accordance to the law and the constitution. As so it what, were. What, mm -hmm. what the Supreme Court judges meant, you must conduct the election within the law as it were then. Mm -hmm. You cannot create other new laws to conduct elections, you know, within the new laws. It mm -hmm. cannot happen. I mean, it can't really completely happen that you want to change things within your way. Mm -hmm. Now, look again, as I said, let's go back to the commission. Mm -hmm. They say that any person can actually become the chairman of the commission. We are talking actually about the president. The president, you know, the, 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 the 
chief commander of defense forces. Mm -hmm. You want this chief commander to be declared by any person, that even a 21-year-old boy who is just graduated with any degree, with, you know, environment or whatever, is out, uh, not really undermining any career. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to look at it that mm -hmm. way. That this guy, you've, you've, you've placed, you've mm -hmm. placed, no, you've placed this person, uh -huh. that you, the person you can actually con direct any way that you want, in any form that you want, to declare the presidency, really? Mm -hmm. Yet, as at now, the laws are set clearly that any person who holds the position of the chair is a person who can be able to sit as a high court judge, mm -hmm. in the bench as a high court judge. So we are really lowering the, 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 the presidency, mm -hmm. that any judge, any judge can uh, swear in the president. I mean, we, we are messing up this country. Mm -hmm. these, laws are, these laws are made out of emotions, right from what we saw, mm -hmm. to appease some egos, some other people's egos. You know, some of these MPs, some of actually of Jubilee MPs, mm -hmm. save for a few, do not even know what they passed in Parliament. I remember mm -hmm. having a, a discussion with Mweshmiwa mm -hmm. that very day when they were passing the laws, and I told him that him being a parent, he knows very well that you cannot make decisions when you are angry, even to your kids. Mm -hmm. You might find yourself messing up things. You cannot chase your kid out of the house, you know, just because you're very hungry and he's messed up something. And that is what they are doing. Making these laws hurriedly uh -huh. to please some regime, forgetting that they can't be used in this election. Mm -hmm. They can only be used in the next election. Who knows? Any person can be the presidential candidate. Mm -hmm. Who knows? In 2032, I'll be the president of this country. Yeah, well, and we, I cannot meet some of these laws. Honorable Kostani, do you agree with him that, of course, the Supreme Court made its ruling. They had ordered IABC to conduct the election within the law as it why Now we're seeing changes uh, in, the, in the electoral laws. Don't you think this, uh, by this, uh, amending this law, Jubilee or by extension parliament is putting IBC under the bus? Not, not really. Mm -hmm. Because um, let's uh, talk about the minor KI case, which came, I think, about 35 days to the, to the election. Mm -hmm. the, the Court of Appeal made some rulings. And the IBC abided, conducted this election based on those rulings of the minor KI case, which was a few days, bef uh, a few days before, before the election. Mm -hmm. The other thing that uh, my good brother here is not, is not uh, mentioning about the changes to the chairmanship of, uh, of, of IBC that we are proposing. Yeah. We are saying that even before uh, announcing the election, the commission must sit and not less than three mm -hmm. must have the same, uh, must arrive at the same uh, verdict that yes, so and so as candidate so and so has won this election. Mm -hmm. Now let us go. Let us go and announce. I mean, really, that is not about jubilee. It's about any 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 presidential um, election. Mm -hmm. He said we sneaking uh, we sneaked this thing into parliament. We did not sneak it into parliament. They were there with their confusion, mm -hmm. with their uh, instructions not to participate in parliament. They mm -hmm. came. They saw the tyranny of numbers. We had a vote. I mean, honestly, how did we sneak it in? When uh, Honorable Chris Wamalwa, Honorable Badi gave his contribution, mm -hmm. and we took a vote, and the majority carried hard the day. Mm -hmm. The same day we, 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 we had a majority, a ruling by the majority in the Supreme Court. Then they have to abide by any other majority decision, mm -hmm. be it in parliament, be it in, They have the majority. Exactly. And speaking, and speaking and about the invitation, uh, the Joint Select, uh, or is, is it Parliamentary Committee on Election yes, Laws? Special. There's no representative, right, from exactly. the, from, from the but Jubilee had invited. No, 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 no. no. It's let not me, invited. Let me, it's let not about invited. I mean, no, 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 the standing order number 120, of course, provides for a special select committee yeah. on when matters arise that need special attention. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me the special attention that you're having in these election laws. Mm -hmm. I mean, and in the formation of any select committee, mm -hmm. representation must be across the board, both the minority and the mm -hmm. majority. Mm -hmm. Not even one single minority leader sits in that commission. Mm -hmm. Clearly, I mean, what we are trying to see is a bully game. That now that we have numbers, we can put things our way. You, you see, know, you it see, is very um, unfortunate. See, mm -hmm. Wait a minute. See, it's very see, unfortunate. Listen. And I, I need to go let, on Let him finish. Yes. Let me finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Listen, when well in court. parliament, the leader of majority... I'll wait, give you enough time. I have to correct him. No, no. When the leader of majority... I waited for you to finish. I'll give you enough time. Let him finish his case. I waited for you to finish. Let me say this. Mm -hmm. That information of a select committee, okay, what you're seeing actually in par parliament as we are speaking, is a 
clear way of a bully game that now that we have the numbers, we can actually go our way, we can do anything our way, just like what he said. Parliament is losing its meaning. Mm -hmm. Look at the role of Parliament all through. I mean, it used to be the watchdog of the executive, uh -huh. but not anymore. That these guys can actually be called to state house, mm -hmm. have made to sit down and get commanded that you must do this. But you love blame Jubilee. You, you love blame Jubilee for having more numbers, right? No, no, we are not blaming them for that. Mm -hmm. We are only saying that mm -hmm. at least, at least, let's not forget our legislation. A le legislative role. Uh -huh. Because what we're actually seeing is that all they do is to rubber stamp everything. I am more, and I want to say this, mm -hmm. that these guys are actually going to pay for these sins, the things that they're doing right now, mm -hmm. not now, not tomorrow, but even our children are going to suffer because of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. With these kind of things of, you know, we are tired of numbers, we can do anything that we want. Mm -hmm. That is not the way democracy works. Honorable Kostani, wants. react to that the very shortly. Let, 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 let him make react us understand to that very briefly and then before you take a break. I mean, it is too long. I think uh, Moshimua doesn't got into politics without knowing. Mm. The reason why politics is about competition is you aim to get the majority. Mm -hmm. That is the primary objective of any candidate whenever you are running for presidency mm -hmm. is to aim to get the majority. Jubilee, we were aiming for majority. Mm -hmm. We collapsed so many, several parties, and that is why we won't sit across all the counties except about three countries in this country. Mm -hmm. Now, that majority we were given by the people of Kenya. We are, we are exercising the sovereign will of the people of Kenya, who exercised this through the ballot and gave us the, the rule to, to, to govern. Mm -hmm. He says we go to state house and get lectured. I, I, we have no problem with that, mm -hmm. because we get lectured on how to run the country, mm -hmm. because the president has an agenda. He is our leader. Oh, really? They go and get lectured to go into the streets. <laughs> really? I mean, really. You which, also represent the people of Soy. I, I'm I, sure you I also represent the people of Soy, uh, and the mm. people of Soy agree mm. with what I am doing right now. They agree with Jubilee, and that is why they voted overwhelmingly. Honorable Constantine, we will we'll continue with this conversation, of course, and also stay with us here in studio. And of course, to our viewers, the pictures we